we back we back we back ek real spicy let's go ahead and get into these clips like that if you start talking to a lot of these like you guys and a lot of wealthy men and men in that one percent and up because we know it's levels uh you know they're not partnering with those women and if they are and some of them are right because i hear that all the time well he dates girls that rate tables <laughs> there's a why there okay and i'm not judging because again that's a man who said i went to law school i are. went and got my mba i did these things so i could earn 700,000, 1.2 million, 3 million a year. So I can be in exclusive full control. And she's going to go on vacation. Where the fuck I tell her we go on a vacation? Pack the bag. Well, I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take, let me interject. Let me interject. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't think that. Is that, is that, is that <laughs> a, a moment. <laughs> Troy, I'm with you. Hold on. <laughs> I, got, I got no, I got no I, arm I, in the I, ring. I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that that's, that's a fair way to, to, to characterize the situation because it's, 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 it's not so much of saying, you're going on vacation wherever I tell you to go on vacation. I think a, a man's role traditionally has always been to provide. As a provider and and as mm -hmm. somebody um, who is a protector, I think that it's actually, you know, beneficial for both parties if somebody was like, okay, like, you know, this is what we're doing. Yeah. So somehow Ebony forgot about her stance about men should be providers, right? Because that's what she was looking for. She's looking for a man to be a provider for her and with her, and quote unquote, be on her level. I think let's, let's just get it straight. A lot of the women, they just want to flat out ignore what men are saying. Men are saying, regardless of, of stature, right? Of course, you want a woman that's capable. But regardless of accomplishments in your life, men want respect. That's paramount to a lot of different things women bring to the table. And with the hypergamy and what a lot of women carry, they can't understand that. You know, they, they think that you... Are looking at how much they're making and like some guys might look at it to a certain degree but those usually those guys aren't the provider types but if you're a provider as a guy um, you're not really looking at how much a woman is making right you're looking at other things you know yes she's, she's responsible yes she's accountable yes she's respectful but the bottom line ladies is respect that's really what it is when dating any type of woman whether they're to put it in her terms, uh, you could date a waitress or you could date someone who's doing retail or whatever, getting paid, whatever they're getting paid. Maybe they're barely getting by financially, but they're a respectful person. They're a good person. They treat people well. They have other qualities that could serve a man well, especially if he's making money already. She could be taught. She could be shown. And she can, she can grow in those areas. But for a man, especially a man who provides... A woman who is respectful, it makes you want to run through a wall for her. And the respect is a big part of that. That's how a lot of men feel loved. And see, a lot of these women, if you let them, again, if you let them talk long enough, you could tell that they're really just, they're talking to win an argument. Because they flip sides. It doesn't really matter what they said before. Like, another part is this, right? I mean, no doubt, some men like to control. That's no doubt about it. That's part of the equation, too. But, but that being said, what's the difference between control and handle? Right? Because if you ask a lot of these women, they want guys to plan dates. They want guys to do things without asking. He's supposed to just know. It, there's, I guess there's a fine line between controlling and handling. What's control and what's not? Let me know in them comments, man, because... But you'll see a few other clips that I share uh, throughout the week about women in their 40s and 50s and 60s wanting men to handle them, put them in their place. I've heard this from their own mouths. And for me, I believe it goes even deeper for her specifically, right? You know, she's a lawyer. She is uh, very successful, makes good money. And so we know her story. The standards are sky high. But the, but the issue is with a lot of these women, especially when A, you start to get a certain age and you're only looking for certain type of men who earn a certain amount of money, right? So those are two different things that already put you in a situation where the math is short for you, right? What she's realizing is that a lot of these guys aren't really choosing her, right? They're not choosing to be with her long term. You know, they might smash. Of course, she's, she's beautiful. She's, she's uh, attractive. But long term, that's a totally different story, right? And so she has to make up some kind of excuse in her head 
right? Because in her mind, she's perfect. In her mind, she's a man's dreams, right? Because she's done all this, she's accomplished all this, and she has money. Well, again, your money does not mean much to a man who already has money. So for her to justify that, it means that he's a controlling person. He's a control freak. That's the reason why these guys don't want her. But if you're more respectful, right? You treated the guy well. They liked how you treated them. I'm pretty sure you would have found somebody. And then, of course, you factor in because a lot of men look for younger women. But again, she has to justify some reason why those guys don't want her. Women and men don't communicate the same. Men value respect in relationships and women value emotions in a relationship. This is why men will typically leave quicker than a woman if they don't feel respected in a relationship. Mm -hmm. A lot of women don't know how to respect a man because they only operate off emotions. So for them, the relationship is solely contingent on how you make them feel. This causes a lot of women to mentally check out when they feel uncomfortable with something. But the hard truth is that respect doesn't always feel comfortable. For example, when you're a child and your parent tells you something to do and you don't want to do it, it doesn't feel good, but you do it out of respect for your parents. You care about what they think about you and you know the repercussions that will come out of it if you don't. If your best friend called you at 3 in the morning because their car broke down and they were on the side of the road, they had nobody else to come pick them up, you probably wouldn't feel like getting out of bed, but you probably would because you respect them and you care about them. A relationship is no different. In the same exact way, showing respect to a man you're in a relationship with may not always be your very first reflex based on the situation, but trust that it will make or break the relationship. A relationship is a scale and it has to be balanced for it to work. It's going to be times where one side leans further than the other because we all have moments where we need to help our partner through something. But women tend to be the focus rather than the man and this doesn't allow for the man to get any respect. Because she's labeled as being the prize, it's being forced on men to cater to her emotions and communicate with her through her language, all while having to put his on the back burner. So he feels like he has to bend to keep her happy. He smiles and justifies it by saying, happy wife, happy life, which is utter bull, but that's a whole other video. See, when it comes <laughs> to respect, a lot of women don't consider it at all. They just see it as him not understanding her, not realizing that it might be her not understanding him. I'm going to give you as an example because we've all been here. It's like when a woman wants to vent to a man and wants him to listen, but the man's natural reaction is to give a solution. There's a lot of women that get upset about that. Then the man gets irritated because he feels like you don't respect the effort he's putting in trying to help you. I mean, if mm. you actually put your emotions to the side, logic will actually tell you that you can't get mad at someone for wanting to help you with the issue that you're having. Being with someone who's reasonable, someone who's more mature, Someone who is growing and advancing in life, who can actually, who are actually fit for a relationship, you got to see how they can balance that. Because yes, we know women are emotional creatures, right? And we know that as men, we're there to comfort and and, and, and stabilize the situation and, and be a stable presence. And there are women that cannot control their emotions, and then there are women who also not only can they not control their emotions, but once it flies off the rails, it's off the rails, and, and they can't be reeled in. It's hard to reason with them. It's hard to, uh, sometimes the situation goes from bad to worse, probably going too far, right? And that's how domestic issues happen. That's how, you know, because there's lines, there's lines that, that can't be crossed in a relationship. And the respect line is, is, is crucial. And that's part of what you bring to the table is, as a woman is how you deal with your emotions as well. How you're able to treat people, especially the people closest to you regardless of how emotional you are it's not just you in a relationship you have to be able to manage those things right and be able to communicate when certain things are going on and make that known same type of grace you want to receive you got to also give that same type of respect you want to receive you got to also give that so you got to watch out for a lot of women who right away just are disrespectful like we saw on the you know on the sabotage video in the midst of these women saying all oh, men ain't shit, you got women out here who are with good men and wasting them and dogging them and taking them through a whole bunch of changes that's unnecessary. Just flat out not suitable for being in relationships. So these are the women that we have to avoid. Go ahead and hit the comments, man. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see y'all next time.